Today we're going to be cooking, Ember is going to be my assistant, and we're going to be cooking my butter, pepper, mushroom pasta. Uh, the things you'll need for this is obviously some pasta. For this I like something like fettuccine, uh, linguine, or spaghetti, something long and thin. Although, you know, personal preference, if you like some other shape for this, go ahead and use that. We'll need some peppers. I like using these small sweet peppers. Uh, they're red, orange, and yellow. I especially like the orange and yellow ones. Um, but you can use full-size peppers if you want. I just prefer these. Of course, some mushrooms and some butter. So let's go ahead and first things first, let's get... That's right. Let's get some water boiling to get our pasta going. Okay, here I got two quarts of water getting ready to boil. Uh, I'm using two quarts of water because I'm cooking about a quarter of a pound of pasta. Uh, most pasta comes in a box of a pound, and my personal thoughts is about a quarter a pound per person. So if you're cooking for two people, half a box, one person, you know, a quarter of a box. That's double what the serving size says, but who follows serving sizes anyway, right? So since I'm cooking enough for one person, I'm just going to use two of these small peppers and two medium-sized mushrooms. Now, I'm not here to give you exact proportions of what to put in. I'm more here to show you what I put in and how I cook it. The exact proportions will vary on your liking, so do Play around, be creative, see what you like. So of course to cut the peppers, you're gonna to wanna to cut off the tops first. We don't care about those. Nice thing about these small peppers is most of the seeds are pretty much right up in the top there. Uh, there's no really seeds inside the rest. And that's one of the benefits of using these small ones over large ones. Um, but we're just gonna cut these up. I like them uh, relatively small, but again, cut to your preference. If you like bigger pieces, cut them larger. Um, Working in the kitchen is about being creative, just like most rest of life. You know, there, there's guidelines you follow, but um, you want to be creative. You don't want to do the same thing as everybody else. My water just started boiling, so I threw my pasta in. And once that gets going, we'll lower that down from a high to a medium high, help prevent it from bubbling over. Now I have my large pan here. Uh, and I have that heating up on a medium-high heat now, and I've got two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to throw that in and let that melt. As soon as it does get melted down, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in our chopped mushrooms and peppers. Now, when we're doing this, this pan might seem a little big for what we're throwing it in initially, but we're, at the end, we're going to take our pasta and throw it into the pan as well, and that's why I want a little larger of a pan to make room for the pasta. So we've got our chopped peppers and mushrooms. The butter is sizzling in the pan. I'm gonna throw this in and cook it on the high medium heat until the mushrooms start getting saturated and sauteed looking. And then we're gonna lower it down to a low heat. Now you might think this seems like a lot of butter. And it is health wise, but um, you gotta remember that the butter is our sauce for the pasta. So as I said, we're going to let this go until the mushrooms are nice and saturated and sautéed. So our mushrooms are looking good, nice and sautéed and brown. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to lower the heat down to a low. And in just a couple more minutes, our pasta should be ready if we've timed everything right. Just keep checking it. And when it seems ready, we'll move on. If you don't know how to tell when pasta is done, you take a little bit out of the pot, throw it against the cabinet, and if it sticks, well then it's done. Okay, our pasta is done boiling, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off. We still have this pan on low heat, and I'm going to just slowly, with my spoon here, let a little bit of water drain off, and start moving the pasta over. I'm doing this mainly so I don't have to clean a strainer. You can put it right in the pot here. We're going to cook it still for a little bit in the pan, and um, that will cook off any excess water that we move over that we don't want, so it's not a big deal. There's still one piece in there. There we go. We're going to move it all around, get the butter all over it. Okay, this is where we're going to add a lot of the flavor. I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. I got a big jug of it because I use a lot of that. Some Parmesan cheese and table salt. So we're going to put that in there. And again, 
This is to your liking. I like a lot of the Italian seasoning, so I'm gonna put a decent amount of that in there. But um, be sure to mix this all up good so the butter gets over everything and then sprinkle this stuff on. Again, move it all around, butter it all up. Gonna sprinkle on some Italian seasoning, some Parmesan cheese, and some salt. Gonna move all this around, and we are pretty much done. Now this isn't a meal that really looks great served up. I guess you could probably make it look better. I'm just gonna throw this in a bowl and eat it. But this is my butter pepper mushroom pasta sauce. There you go. A simple meal that takes about 15 minutes to cook. Anybody can do it, and everybody loves it. Thank you for helping, Ember, and thank you for watching. Oh, you dropped your noodle. Now that's sad. Say bye-bye, Ember. <laughs>